Hi, I'm Susan Brown from Light Life Learning and this is an energy EFT video for allowing me time. So, me time, what do I mean by me time? Uh, me time is rest or recuperation or a special treat or maybe it's going for a cup of tea with a friend, a massage, a walk, um, or maybe it's coming on YouTube and doing a tapping video. <laughs> um, but either way, it's, self, it's about self-care. And when we don't have good self-care, then we end up getting stressed out, uh, resentful, ill. All of those negative things happen when we don't make any me time. So this is a quick round about just tuning into that, uh, checking into where you're at now with the me time in your life and hopefully increasing that so that it becomes a priority and so that it becomes an enjoyable part of your routine. So how are you now for taking me time? Have a look at the scale behind me. It goes from minus 10, which would be somebody who has no me time whatsoever <laughs> and feels that they don't have time for any me time. And zero would be somebody who has a little bit of me time, but it's not great. They don't really have enough. And then anywhere in the pluses is, um, is pretty good, with plus 10 being the absolute optimum that you take plenty of me time and it's, um, it really suits you and does you good and so on. So where are you now on the Sue scale? Just get yourself a number, just an idea of where you are in terms of the me time you're taking just now. Okay, so place your hands on your heart center. And if you'd like, um, if you're tapping along, you agree to take full responsibility for your own well-being. And there is a blog attached to this video, by the way. There's a link somewhere nearby about me time. Um, so just take a few deep breaths. And I want you to visualize what it would be like for you to be at plus 10 with your me time. In other words, feeling great about the amount of me time you take, that it fits perfectly into your lifestyle, it's very enjoyable and you feel balanced and like your self-care is very good. I just want you to try and imagine that. And don't worry if some stuff comes up about, well, I couldn't possibly because X, Y and Z. Okay, that's just all part of it. Just make a note of that in your mind and just allow yourself to think about life at plus 10 in me time. Okay. So tapping on the top of the head. I choose to make space for me time. I choose to make me time important. It's good for me to have good self-care. That actually benefits other people in my life too. I choose to take good care of me. And maybe I need to make more space for me time. So I choose to be open in supporting myself with that. Supporting myself in taking enough me time. And I choose to enjoy thinking about what that might be. So that me time is a lot of fun for me. And I feel more joy in myself. I feel more happiness. And this benefits everybody. I choose to release any resistance now. Any resistance to me allowing me time. I choose to know that me time is very important for me. And I love creating the spaces for myself. And 
creating it in new ways. Maybe ways I never thought of before. Maybe I need to ask other people for some help. To support myself in creating more me time. I love giving myself permission to enjoy me time. And I love knowing how beneficial it is. For my health and well-being. And also for my general happiness in life. I love having me time. And I love supporting myself in creating time for it. Wonderful me time. So back to the heart center again, take a few deep breaths. And just focusing on me time in your life and how it would look at plus 10. And if you've gone up on the scale, I hope that you've gone up a bit. Um, you can keep tapping until you get to plus 10, that would be the optimum. Or any little shift up the scale is great, it's a move in the right direction. And I hope that today and here forward, that you make me time a priority because that benefits everybody. Thank you for doing so and thanks for watching. I'm Susan Brown at Light Life Learning.